It's Cobra versus Knockoff Rainbow Bright in the Magic Unicorn Kingdom. This is Toy Soldiers War Chest. The back of the packaging says these toys don't play nice. My question is what toys do play nice? My toys all killed each other. After any given battle, the living room floor was strewn with body parts and severed heads and wheels and wings and stuff as G.I. Joe usually lost to the Transformers and then, you know, Megatron was holding Lady J's severed head or something. Gloating about his victory, but then Cobra would retaliate and bomb the hell out of the Transformers, and it just was like a never-ending wave of destruction, and this game tries to recapture that. It's a strategy game that plays a lot like Valkyria Chronicles crossed with Star Wars Battlefront, but it's not as good as either of those games. It does have the Cobra Air Carrier, though. I feel like any game that has the Cobra Air Carrier deserves some attention. So let's check out Toy Soldier's War Chest. Is it worth your time? Maybe. This is the Hall of Fame edition on the PlayStation 4 that comes with the DLC for G.I. Joe Cobra He-Man and Assassin's Creed. Sadly, no Transformers, Sectars, Jason the Wheeled Warriors, Gobots, Robotech, Mask, or any number of other awesome 80s licenses, but hey, beggars can't be choosers and we get Cobra Commander, so that's okay. In addition to your famous toys, you get a bunch of their original toys, none of which are nearly as cool as Cobra. What is? So, here's what you do. You choose your army, and then you build little bases. It's like a tower defense real-time strategy game. The enemy launches waves at you, you kill them all. If you can get your little kill meter on the left all the way up, one of the action figures falls from the sky, and then you can run around and shoot them all personally. It's great. Toy Soldiers has its moments, but it does lack some of the high production values that most of the big budget games have these days. If you can look beyond that though, you will find a fun, enjoyable real-time strategy game. Where you place your units and upgrade them, they do their thing as the enemy attacks, you can also move the cursor around the playfield and then jump into them and shoot, shoot the enemies first hand. That's right, Kaiser Wilhelm versus giant um, scorpions. It's like Earth Defense Force, 1917. Actually, my biggest gripe with the game, in addition to the fact it is a bit buggy, is the environments. The environments are kind of lame considering how much creativity they could have thrown into them. I mean, they could have done anything. Each level is meant to represent some kind of a place set, of course, and you're defending your toy box from the waves of enemy invaders. At least that's the campaign mode. There's actually a couple different modes of gameplay, including multiplayer, which I did not get a chance to try. But I've had a good time with the campaign. It's wonderful watching Cobra mow down waves of fairies and stuff. That, that just never gets old. As you destroy enemies, you earn money that you can use to upgrade your towers during the battle. There's a lot of games that use all of these elements, except this one has Cobra and He-Man. And rolling fat kittens that explode into hearts and rainbows. But it's like they stopped short of making it really good. Maybe they ran out of time and money or something. It feels like they could have pushed the concept further. It's not, it's not bad. If you think it looks fun, check it out. It's actually really cheap.
But, but I think you'll agree with me, there, there's room for improvement here. I am not allowed impertinence! Credit where credit's due though, the action figures that fall from the sky, priceless. The knockoff G.I. Joe music's pretty good too. Hey, it's Toy Soldiers War Chest. Now you know, and knowing is greater than or equal to 50% of the battle. The best of classic game room is on DVD, Blu-ray, and Laser Hypervision album set.